So the Super Series is out, and the table is now set for Navi's launch in a week. And really, this table setting is what this video is going to be about. Now that we have these new cards out, what, if anything, has changed regarding my opinion about what cards you recommend and what the overall RTX series looks like. And it's actually funny because just a week ago, I remember a lot of people in my YouTube comments and Discord saying that, ooh, the rumored super cards look really good. They're going to make Navi dead on arrival. And yet if you re watch the reviews I have in the description, it doesn't seem like it's being received that way. Now, is it, people? And this brings me to a thing I vehemently disagree with that I've seen some reviews say, that the super series is what the the RTX lineup should have been at launch. It's it's not even halfway to what it should have been at launch, in my opinion. And let's take a quick look one more time at my previous video of where I go over what an aggressive RTX series would have looked like. And this is an important reminder, people, that if AMD was competing like they were in the HD 4000 through 7000, well, really, R9 200 series, NVIDIA would have been much, much, much more aggressive. Everything you see here would have still had at least a 50% profit margin markup. So these aren't even prices of NVIDIA in full panic mode. In full panic mode, that 2080 Ti would probably be about $500. But nope, at $600, they would have had giant profit margins still and they would have given you the full 12 gigabytes of RAM. But, you know, watch my previous video if you want a full breakdown of where everything would have fallen into place. The overall point, though, is this would have been the ideal Turing lineup, and it would have made Pascal look pretty stupid, wouldn't it? But that's simply not what has happened here. Even these new super cards are, I would say, halfway to where they should be. I mean, ideally, you would want the... Uh, 2070 being the full TU-104 die, at least if NVIDIA was being aggressive. You know, both the 2080 and 2080 Ti should be based on the TU-102 die, just like the 780 and 780 Ti were with Kepler. That's what should be going on here. And even if prices weren't as good as what I showed in that chart, there's no reason for the 2080 Ti to be more than like $900 and the 2080 to be more than 600 So we're still... Not there, people. It's still, you know, $700, $800, 2080 Super incoming. They're discontinuing, which is something to point out. They will be discontinuing the old 2070 and 2080. And so that's kind of the point here, right? Let's go over what's changed. So let's go down the list then. The 2070 Super. It's still a really dumb card. It shouldn't be above $400. This only has 8 gigabytes over time that will be a limiting factor, especially since it doesn't have a high bandwidth cache controller. And as such, it there's no recommendation there. I guess the 2060 Super is kind of better, but really you're getting a weaker 2070 for 20% less money. The 2070 was not good. My opinions on Navi then really haven't changed. I The RX 5700 non-XT will likely tie the 2060 Super for a little less money, for about the same power usage, actually. And it will actually have, in my opinion, way better features, too. RTX, performance-destroying tech, and a handful of games really isn't good. DLSS is a meme at this point in how dumb it is. And the 5700 is going to bring anti-lag and superior drivers. 5700 is not going to be great, but it will be, I suspect, I will still mildly like it. And then my opinion of the 5700 XT really hasn't changed at all either. The 5700 XT is going to roughly tie the 2070 Super for a lot less money, especially if the 2070 Super really is going to be sold above $500. It's like you're paying 20% more performance for what? Nothing. It's, And I don't even really think the 5700 XT is worth getting. You know, so of special note is that Vega 56 and the RX 570 are still king. The 2060 Super costs about 30% more than Vega 56, at least, if not 40%, depending on the deal you get. And it's only 10% stronger, guys. It's really not that great. 
And I know you'll find some games where it's co- close to Radeon 7, but you'll also find a couple new games where Radeon 7 is next to a 2080 Ti. The point is the 2060 Super is 9 to 15% stronger than a Vega 56 it costs, almost 50% more than. And that's ridiculous. And the RX 570 remains the ultimate budget card. So we're looking at a situation where, again, nothing's changed that much. And frankly, keep this in mind. This is the, really the big point. The Radeon 7 was sold for, I think, about a 10% profit at launch, and HBM prices continue to come down, especially with the mass manufacturing of Vega cards for Google Stadia. So what this leads to is there's room for a price drop on Radeon 7. It's just not going to happen until the 2080 Super comes out. If this 2080 Super comes out and is at all aggressive in price, AMD has more than enough room now to drop the Radeon 7 to 600 bucks, or maybe even a little less if they absolutely had to. And so that's going to actually place the Radeon 7 next to the 2070 Super. And then what? The 2060 Super next to the 5700 and 5700 XT? NVIDIA has increased their competitive position slightly, but it's just slightly. And they really should have been more aggressive. AMD has a mountain more mind share than they had just a couple years ago. They are perceived as a market leader now. And this will be coming right next to Zen 2's launch. And NVIDIA had a chance here to drop cr- prices by 30% by 20% let's say let's be conservative 20% increase performance by 20 and make Navi dead on arrival but that's just not what's happened here and so the sales for Navi are really really going to fascinate me i really can't wait to see if i'm right that it's AMD's CPU perceptions that dictate how many people buy their graphics cards for the most part cuz that's what i think's been going on this whole time And what a dumb name, too. Well, tell me what you think in the comments below. I thought I'd give my opinion and really highlight how things go tier by tier. Um, Of course, if you support me on Patreon, you can talk with me about this on my Discord channel. And uh, I actually had a new podcast come out about the my PC gaming origin stories talking about the 7970 the YouTube version that will be coming out soon I have a podcast Fiverr states politics from across the US not just on the coasts that podcast will have a new episode out on or right before the 4th of July for you guys it's going to be a really interesting one I think talking about misconceptions when it comes to American patriotism and also I will have a new podcast coming out on broken silicon with an interesting guest you guys will enjoy very shortly all right like share subscribe please share if you can thank you